Imagine living a life where you're not constantly stressing about money. A life where you're financially free, emotionally fulfilled, and genuinely happy. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, that dream can become your reality. Today, we're diving into the Stop Doing What Poor People Do, 8 Stoic Core Principles. We're not just talking about accumulating wealth here, we're talking about cultivating a mindset that brings prosperity, peace, and positivity. These principles are life-altering, and I promise you, by the end of this video, you will look at your finances and indeed your life differently. So why should you listen? Because you don't want to merely exist. You want to live and live well. So stay tuned, because the journey towards financial independence and a fulfilling life starts right here, right now. Let's dive right into the first principle. Stop spending beyond your means. Now this might seem like a straightforward, obvious piece of advice, but you'd be surprised at how often it's overlooked. Every day, we're bombarded with advertisements encouraging us to buy this or that, promising that this new gadget or that stylish outfit will somehow make our lives better. It's so easy to be enticed into spending money on things we don't really need. And before we know it, we're living paycheck to paycheck with a mountain of debt looming over us. This cycle of consumerism is a trap that too many people fall into. This is where the Stoic principle of self-control comes into play. Stoicism teaches us that we should not be slaves to our desires. We should not allow our happiness to be dictated by material possessions. Instead, we should find contentment in what we already have and resist the urge to constantly want more. This doesn't mean that we can't treat ourselves once in a while, but we need to do so responsibly keeping in mind our financial capability. So, how do we practice this principle in our daily lives? It starts with differentiating between our needs and wants. Needs are things we can't live without. Food, shelter, basic clothing. Wants, on the other hand, are things we desire but can live without. The latest iPhone, designer clothes, a luxury car. Once we start distinguishing between the two, we start making informed decisions about our spending. Remember the analogy of the hare and the tortoise. In the race of life, we don't want to be the hare that burns through its resources quickly and recklessly. Instead, we want to emulate the tortoise. Although slower, it is more thoughtful and measured in its pace. Always moving forward but never at the risk of exhausting itself. Frugality and mindful spending are not about limiting yourself or depriving yourself of the good things in life. It's about making wise decisions so you can live comfortably without the constant stress of financial insecurity. It's about building a stable foundation for your future. Imagine having enough savings to handle unexpected expenses without panicking. Imagine being debt-free and having the financial freedom to spend more time with your loved ones explore new hobbies, or start your own business. Imagine being able to retire comfortably without the fear of outliving your savings. All these are possible when you live within your means. Implementing this principle requires discipline and might seem challenging at first, especially if you're used to impulsive spending. But I assure you, the peace of mind that comes with financial stability is worth every bit of effort. So, take that first step towards financial empowerment. Evaluate your spending habits, distinguish between your needs and wants, and commit to living within your means. Remember, this isn't about making sacrifices. It's about making better choices. Choices that will lead you to a life of financial freedom and peace of mind. Choices that will allow you to truly live, not just exist. After all, isn't that what we all want? Isn't that a life worth striving for? That's the power of the first Stoic principle. It's not just about money. It's about cultivating a mindset that sets you up for a prosperous, fulfilling life. And this is just the beginning. Stay tuned as we delve into the other principles in our journey towards financial independence and personal growth. As we move on from the first principle of living within our means, 
We now delve deeper into the second principle, which is equally pivotal. Stop ignoring your finances. We've all heard the saying, ignorance is bliss. But when it comes to your finances, ignorance can be a ticket to a spiraling descent into financial distress. An integral part of Stoicism is exercising wisdom, which calls for a keen awareness of one's circumstances. In terms of finances, this translates to being fully cognizant of your financial condition. However, many fall into the trap of turning a blind eye on their financial reality, perhaps due to fear, shame, or sheer negligence. But remember, acknowledging your financial status, no matter how unfavorable it might be, is the first step towards rectification. Take a moment to visualize your finances as a garden. If left unattended, Weeds start to sprout, insects may infest, and your once beautiful garden slowly turns into a plot of dirt and chaos. However, with regular attention and care, you can keep the weeds at bay, nurture the plants, and cultivate a thriving garden. The same principle applies to our finances. Regular and diligent monitoring allows you to identify any issues promptly, rectify them and make necessary adjustments to keep your financial garden flourishing. Moreover, a crucial aspect of Stoicism is being grounded in reality. Stoics believe in seeing things for what they truly are, free of illusions and misconceptions. This principle should guide your approach to your finances. Evaluate your income, debts, expenses, savings, and investments. Acknowledging your financial truth may be unnerving, but it's a crucial step in laying a solid foundation for financial stability and growth. In the same vein, ignoring your finances often leads to poor money management habits. Without a clear understanding of your financial status, it's easy to overspend, undersave, and make ill-informed investment decisions. On the other hand, being in tune with your finances empowers you to make sound decisions that are aligned with your financial goals. Adopting the stoic approach to your finances also means taking responsibility for them. It's about understanding that your financial health is a result of your actions, decisions, and behaviors. Blaming external factors for your financial woes doesn't solve the problem. Instead, it shirks responsibility and leaves you stuck in a cycle of financial distress. In conclusion, remember that you are the master of your finances. Let the Stoic philosophy guide you on your journey to financial literacy and independence. Take responsibility for it and use it as a tool to create the life you envision. So, let's stop ignoring your finances and start treating them with the attention and respect they deserve. Continuing from our previous point, we now venture into one of the most profound principles. Principle number three, stop associating wealth with happiness. This is a pivotal turning point in our journey towards a fulfilling life. In our society, we've been programmed to equate wealth with happiness. We're often led to believe that the more we own, the happier we'll be. But the truth is, this couldn't be further from the truth. Stoicism, a practical philosophy founded on the pillars of logic, perspective, and virtue, begs to differ. It teaches us that true happiness lies in virtue. Now, you might wonder, what does virtue have to do with wealth or happiness? Quite a lot, as it turns out. Stoics believe that virtue is the sole good. In other words, living a virtuous life. A life of wisdom, courage, justice, and self-discipline is the highest form of happiness. Virtue is something within our control, unlike wealth, which is external and subject to change. It's not about what we have, but who we are and how we live our lives. Think about it. We've all heard stories of millionaires who are deeply unhappy and ordinary people who lead contended lives. The size of your bank account doesn't guarantee happiness. It's the richness of your character and the quality of your actions that truly matter. In the same vein, material possessions are transient. The joy they bring is fleeting. You buy a new car, and you're excited, for a while. But eventually, the excitement fades. 
the car becomes just another thing you own. Then you're left wanting something newer, better, bigger. This endless pursuit of material possessions is like running on a hamster wheel. You keep running but never really get anywhere. But when you seek wealth and knowledge, experiences and relationships, you find a joy that's enduring. The knowledge you gain, the experience you acquire, the love you share, these are things that stay with you no matter what. They enrich your life in ways material goods cannot. They give you a sense of fulfillment and meaning. That's what true wealth is. Also, let's not forget that Stoicism teaches us to appreciate what we have. Gratitude, according to Stoicism, is a form of wealth. When you learn to be grateful for what you have, you begin to realize that you have enough. And this sense of sufficiency brings peace and contentment. In conclusion, shifting your perspective on wealth and happiness is crucial. It's a journey from looking outward for validation to looking inward for fulfillment. It's about understanding that the real measure of wealth isn't what you have, but who you are. Breaking away from the mindset of associating wealth with happiness won't be easy, but it's a step you must take if you seek true fulfillment. And remember, in the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, it's not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. Bringing us to our fourth principle, I want you to think about risks. The word alone might spark a bit of fear or concern in you. These are natural reactions, yet they often hold us back from reaching our full potential. Stoicism teaches us that courage is a fundamental principle. Fear of failure or challenges shouldn't stop us from taking calculated risks. Think about it for a moment. What's the one thing that differentiates successful people from those who are not? It's the former's courage to take risks. They step out of their comfort zone, embrace uncertainty, and face challenges head on. They understand that it's through these risks that they grow, learn, and ultimately succeed. So, what does this mean for you? It's about changing your perspective on risk. Instead of viewing it as a potential for loss, Try to see it as an opportunity for gain. It's about adopting the mindset that welcomes challenges as stepping stones towards success. Consider the sea buried in the ground. It takes a significant risk by exposing itself to the elements, predators, and the potential of rotting away. But it's only by taking this risk that it can grow its roots, break through the soil, reach for the sunlight, and blossom into a beautiful, strong tree. Similarly, in our financial lives, taking risks could mean investing in a new venture, trying a different career path, or deciding to save or invest money rather than spending it immediately on gratifications. Yes, there's a chance that things might not work out as you hope, but there's also a chance that they could work out even better than you imagine. But remember, when I say taking risks, I don't mean recklessness. Stoicism encourages calculated, well-considered risks. This requires knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of your particular situation, which circles back to our previous principles of self-awareness and continuous learning. My friends, life, in its essence, is a series of risks. Every decision we make carries some level of risk, but it's by embracing not avoiding these risks that we open ourselves to a world of opportunities. It's through these risks that we grow, evolve, and inch closer to our goals, be it financial independence, personal development, or overall life satisfaction. Let us bravely walk this path. Let us embrace risks, giving them the room to transform us, to shape us into better, wiser, and more successful version of ourselves. Each risk you take is a step forward towards your desired life. Each challenge you overcome is a brick in the foundation of your financial prosperity. And while we're talking about taking positive steps, here's another one you can take right now. Hit the subscribe button below. Not only will you become a part of a like-minded community on a similar journey of growth and development, but you'll also gain access to a wealth of knowledge insights and tips designed to help you create a better, 
more prosperous life. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Remember our fourth principle, embrace the risk. So go ahead, hit subscribe, and let's continue this journey of growth and prosperity together. Building on the idea of personal responsibility, let's now delve into the fifth principle. Stop neglecting personal development. Remember, as a stoic, one should seek continuous improvement and growth. Just as a tree continually grows, branching out and reaching for the sky, so too should we strive for our own personal development. What does personal development entail? You might wonder. It is about becoming the best version of yourself. It includes investing time and resources into broadening your knowledge, refining your skills, nurturing your talents, and fostering your overall well-being. Just like a software package needs regular updates to remain relevant and efficient, we too need to keep learning and updating our skills to stay competitive in today's fast-paced world. Let's consider a common pitfall many fall into the comfort zone. This is a place where everything is familiar and easy. It's cozy and safe, but it's also a place where growth is stinted. As the saying goes, a comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing ever grows there. In the realm of Stoicism, the comfort zone is akin to a stagnant pond. Yes, it's calm and unchanging, but it also fosters decay. On the other hand, Stepping out of your comfort zone is like entering a flowing river. Sure, the currents can be strong and intimidating, but they also carry energy and vitality, driving growth and change. Personal development is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's about having the courage to step out of your comfort zone and set foot on the path of lifelong learning. The world around us is constantly evolving. If we stop learning, we risk becoming obsolete. Just as a shark must keep moving to stay alive, we must keep learning to remain relevant and competitive. Let's take a moment to address another aspect of personal development, investing in yourself. This might mean pursuing further education, attending workshops or seminars, seeking out a mentor, or even spending time each day reading and expanding your knowledge. This investment can have a profound impact on your career, your relationships, and your overall quality of life. You might question the feasibility of such an endeavor. After all, time and money can be limiting factors. Remember the stoic value of self-control. It's about making the right decisions, not the easy ones. This might mean prioritizing your personal development over leisure activities or unnecessary expenditures. It's not about making huge sacrifices, but about making conscious decisions that align with your long-term goals. In conclusion, personal development is a journey, not a destination. It's about striving for progress, not perfection. Embrace the stoic principle of continuous learning and growth. Channel your energy into becoming the best version of yourself. Each day presents an opportunity to learn something new to improve a skill, or to gain a fresh perspective. So, seize these opportunities. Remember, your personal growth can directly influence your financial growth. So, stop neglecting your personal development. Start investing in yourself, and watch as your life transforms for the better. As we continue to explore our stoic principles, let's delve into the sixth one, stop blaming others. This principle is an essential cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, and it's about personal responsibility and self-reliance. If we want to improve our financial status and overall quality of life, we must recognize and acknowledge the role we play in our circumstances and stop pointing fingers at others. Now, why is this important? You might ask. We live in a culture where it's easier to blame circumstances, people, or systems for our predicaments. By doing so, we relinquish control and power over our lives. We become victims rather than active participants in our journeys. At first glance, it might seem comforting. After all, if someone else is to blame, then it's not our fault, right? But herein lies the trap. Each time we blame others for our financial struggles or failures, 
we surrender our power to change, learn, and grow. Stoicism teaches us the exact opposite. It implores us to take control, to own our decisions, actions, and ultimately, our lives. It's about understanding that the power to influence our financial situation lies within us. By adopting this mindset, we shift from being passive observers to active creators of our destinies. We move from the back seat to the driver's seat, steering our lives in the direction we truly desire. Let's consider an example. Suppose you incur a hefty credit card debt. It's easy to blame it on the high interest rates for the societal pressures to spend. But in reality, it was our choice to swipe that car, right? Acknowledging this fact doesn't mean we are consigning ourselves to a life of guilt and self-blame. On the contrary, it means we are giving ourselves the opportunity to learn from our mistakes, to make better decisions in the future. Embracing personal responsibility means accepting the truth that our financial situation is a direct reflection of our decisions and actions. Yes, external factors do play a role, but our reactions to those factors matter much more. Take the recent pandemic, for instance. Many lost their jobs, and it was a financial blow. But some people use this period for self-growth learning new skills, or even starting a business, thereby creating new income streams. That's the power of personal responsibility. It allows us to adapt, innovate, and overcome, no matter the circumstances. Finally, this principle also ties into the store concept of dichotomy of control, which means understanding what is within our control and what is not. We might not be able to control the economy, the job market, or the inflation rate. But we sure can control our spending habits, our attitude towards money, and our commitment towards financial literacy and growth. In conclusion, stop blaming others is not just a principle, it's a way of life. It's about taking ownership, learning from our mistakes, and continuously striving to be better. It's about understanding that the key to financial freedom and a fulfilling life is not in external factors but within us. So let's embrace it, because as the famous Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, we are not disturbed by things, but by the views we take of them. Following on from the previous principle, let's turn our attention to principle number seven, stop living to please others. This principle is deeply rooted in the Stoic philosophy that exhorts us to live according to our values, not to the societal expectations or norms that are often imposed on us. In our modern, digital age, the pressure to conform and satisfy other people's expectations is even more profound. We're often tempted to lead lives that are not authentic, that don't reflect who we truly are all in an attempt to gain approval or acceptance from others. This behavior extends to our approach to wealth and financial management. We try to keep up with the Joneses, trying to match their lifestyle, their possessions, their social standing, often at the expense of our own financial well-being. Many people find themselves in debt or living beyond their means, simply because they're trying to mirror the perceived extravagances of their peers. The Stoic principle of independence urges us to resist this temptation, to stop living to please other people. Instead, we need to focus on our journey, our path towards financial independence. Just like a marathon runner who keeps their eyes on their path, we need to do the same. Looking at other runners, or in this case, looking at how others are managing their money, can distract us, leading us to make financial decisions that aren't in our best interest. But how can we start living according to this principle? It's about knowing yourself, your values, your goals. What does financial success look like to you? What do you want to achieve with your money? Having a clear vision of your financial goals is vital. Then it's about crafting a financial plan that aligns with these goals. This plan should be realistic and, most importantly, specific to you. It should not be influenced by what others are doing or what they have. Lastly, it's about being resilient. There will always be pressure to conform, 
live to please others. But remember, your journey is unique. Your path towards financial independence and success is yours alone. Embracing this principle is not an overnight process. It requires patience, persistence, and a lot of self-reflection. But the rewards are significant. You'll find that when you stop living to please others, you're not only taking control of your finances, you're also taking control of your life. You're living authentically, you're less stressed, and ultimately, you're happier. In conclusion, don't let societal pressures dictate your financial decisions. Live according to your values and let that guide your path towards financial independence. Remember, the race is long, and in the end, it's only with yourself. Continuing on our journey to financial freedom and fulfillment, we arrive at our final and perhaps one of the most transformative principles. Stop resisting change. Change is inevitable, yet we often resist it. We tend to cling to the familiar, to what we know, to our comfort zones. Stoicism, however, teaches us to accept and embrace change, to understand the transient nature of life and to adapt ourselves accordingly. For it is in this adaptability that we truly thrive. Think about it. Seasons change, tides ebb and flow, the sun rises and sets, all indicative of life's inherent fluctuating nature. Just as a river never stays the same, so too does to swim with the current, rather than against it. In the context of our finances, this principle suggests that economic landscapes are in constant flux. New industries emerge while old ones become obsolete. Interest rates rise and fall. The job market shifts. The only certainty is uncertainty. The challenge then becomes not resisting this change, but learning to navigate it. Resisting change in our financial lives can manifest in many ways. And maybe it's refusing to accept that the industry you work in is dying and failing to acquire new skills. Perhaps it's sticking with the same old investment strategy even when it's not providing good returns. Or it could be the fear of venturing into new investments and thus missing out on potential opportunities. So cease resisting change. We must first change our mindset. We must acknowledge that change, while often challenging, can open doors to exciting opportunities and greater prosperity. Remember, a caterpillar must undergo a transformation to become a butterfly. It is this change that gives it wings. Next, we must educate ourselves. Knowledge reduces fear, and fear is often what fuels our resistance to change. Stay informed about economic trends, investment opportunities, and financial best practices. Knowledge is the compass that will help you navigate the sea of change. Thirdly, maintain a balanced perspective. Understand that change can bring both gains and losses. Just as a coin has two sides, so does change. A job loss could lead to a more fulfilling career. A failed investment could provide valuable lessons. A financial setback could foster resilience and resourcefulness. Finally, learn to be flexible. Rigidity in the face of change is like a tree standing stiff in a storm. It's likely to break. But a tree that bends with the wind can weather the storm. Similarly, being flexible with your financial plans, career choices, and investment strategies can help you weather the storms of economic change. Remember, the world is an ever-changing canvas, and you are the artist. With the right mindset, knowledge, perspective, and flexibility, you can paint the picture of financial prosperity and fulfillment. Embracing change is not just about financial success. It's about leading a fulfilling life. It's about growing, learning, and evolving. It's about turning the pages of life and discovering your true potential. So, let's stop resisting change. Let's embrace it. For it is the path to true freedom and fulfillment.